Commission, this is Ali Nassib with a quick vlog. Following my past video on from AAE and my conversation with one of our faculty, Dr. Sherwin Golian, a couple of questions came out about the final post-operative radiograph that he had that included a lot of uh, different uh, um, lateral canals and so on that were filled using vertical condensation. And people were asking about the, um, you know, the radio opacity of the sealer and how great it is to have a radio opaque sealer. So it could, you know, you could visualize these types of uh, this anatomy. And the question came up that can the biceramic sealer be made more radio opaque? Of course, biceramic sealer is currently fairly radio opaque. Uh, compared to other sealers on the market. But it kind of reminded me back of back in 2007 and 8 uh, when I called the scientists who had developed the bioceramic sealer and asked for it to be made more radio opaque. I said, can you make this as maximally radio opaque as possible? And I still remember the answer that came back is that, well, if we do that, that is going to decrease the biocompatibility of the material. And I said, well, you know, it's uh, important to have a more radio opaque material because people uh, want to see the this is a sealer that's uh, being expressed. And the question, I mean, the, the, the scientists kind of came back and said, well, but that, that will reduce the biocompatibility. And I still remember at that moment, I kind of came to a point where I was thinking, wait a minute, we're trying to do something to a sealer that'll make it less biocompatible. Why are we doing that? And then I realized that the only reason we're trying to make the sealer more radio opaque is so that we can get a better look on the radiograph. Now, of course, we understand the importance of the look and so on um, in terms of the marketing of your practices as well as uh, this, the description of the technique. And that part of the reason why that's so important is because over the past few decades, that area has been hammered in our head to think that the look is actually what we're trying to achieve. As uh, the Tegolian said, the thrill of the fill and so on. And those types of narratives that have, been, that have been incorporated into our profession that have actually taken away the profession from a really scientifically based procedure out into a procedural and a mechanical type of of a procedure that we're trying to do. Because let's understand first and foremost that the, what we're trying to achieve here is a biological uh, result, which is to use the most biocompatible material so we can reduce any kind of inflammation that uh, would be present and get healing. And there's nothing about radio opacity using uh, more uh, zirconium oxide uh, uh, crystals and, uh, and molecules inside a compound that will increase our success rate. That is merely a response to our own psychology of what we're trying to achieve. So manufacturers, in fact, caught on to this idea of us trying to get more radio opaque looks and originally and historically they added more and more radio opacifiers to the sealer to make it look more dense. Of course the original idea of a dense fill was driven by the idea of having proper compaction and fill and not having any voids. But manufacturers, understanding our you know, personal uh, biases in terms of a radio opacity of a sealer, started to incorporate chemicals into sealers that had a negative consequence. For example, when Kerr Pop Canal Sealer uh, came out, uh, the extended working time and the regular one, they had incorporated silver particles into the sealer in order to make it more radio opaque. Now, the presence of the sealer really had no other um, specific, uh, you know, beneficial um, outcome other than making the sealer more radio opaque. Of course, as a result of this change, uh, we did get a more radio opaque sealer so that you could actually only paint one side of the root canal and give yourself the impression that you have done a very good job with the fill, which really is it, it defies the, the concept of why we're doing root canal therapy. We're not trying to fool ourselves or fool some kind of a third party to think that we've done a good job, but actually we're trying to get good results. As another consequence of adding silver to this material, we ended up ha causing discoloration in root canals following endodontic therapy. So for a while, the idea had become known that following endodontic therapy, teeth discolor. Well, the discoloration was because of the silver particles that we had added to the sealer, and that's what was causing the discoloration. If a non-silver containing sealer were used, the tooth would not discolor following endodontic therapy. 
So these types of decisions to make the material more radio-opaque for non-biological reasons have specific and real consequences. And I think the sooner we come into terms with this fascination with creating x-rays and looks and move on to a new era where we focus on the biology and the requirements of uh, biological success in cases, the sooner we can rid ourselves of these limitations in thinking that are preventing us from progressing in our field. So I just wanted to share with you this uh, vlog because the question that came up kind of reminded me of my own question back eight, uh, nine years ago. And the answer that I came up with at that time is that instead of trying to defy the biological need of a more biocompatible sealer by pushing more radio opacity, opaque material into it, that we should do the responsible thing of not adding more radio opacifier to the sealer merely for the sake of uh, making our x-rays prettier, but focus on the biology of this material. And that has been really our focus at Rewaldendo, that responsible education part comes together along with this type of a video and message so to communicate with you our thinking behind the thinking for uh, the bioceramic sealer and the way it was kind of put together with the idea of its purity and its maximum biological uh, properties being the paramount and most important aspect of this material and compound rather than um, kind of catering uh, or pandering if you will to uh, some irrational clinical need for creating uh, pretty x-rays. Now again I'm not saying that you can't get pretty x-rays using hydraulic condensation if done properly in fact you can't tell the difference but the point of this video is to really highlight this uh, important uh, ideological difference here between what we're trying to do and what we've been doing over the past 30 years by focusing on the importance of radiographs and x-rays and final fills. Um, our focus at Rewildendo is to prioritize on success and biological principles rather than trite and overused terminology uh, that, that creates cosmetic endodontists rather than uh, endodontists uh, that are focused on the understanding of the underlying uh, principles and scientific bases of success in our cases. So I'm sorry if there was a lot of background noise here. I'm actually recording this little video uh, from uh, my hotel room. I'm actually uh, out of the AAE meeting uh, in San Francisco and out here in uh, Las Vegas. I'm staying at the Cosmopolitan Hotel here. Uh, and these, this question kind of popped up and I wanted to make a quick video to kind of address it. Uh, so there's a big party going on outside uh, by the pool. So that's uh, why there's a lot of noise and I hope this wasn't distracting to you. Um, at the end, for Rewildendo, I'm Ali Nisse and I hope you found this information helpful.